This video is going to show how I ream the legs into the seat, which first begins with creating the correct angle on these tapered tenons. I like to clean it up with a skew in the end. It gives it a nice clean surface and helps me see that angle in the line that it's following. And when I think I've got it correct, I'll go ahead and just test it with a block with the correct angled mortise that's been cut in half. There we go. Looks like a good fit. Now I've got to draw the template for my perch seat on the bottom, and I align it by drawing a couple of lines square from the center line on the top down to the bottom. That'll just help me align the pattern onto the bottom of the seat correctly. A couple of little marks. And on this, really, all I need is a couple marks, the center line and that one line for the sight lines for the rear legs. So I'll draw on that center line, and then I'll draw those lines over to the holes I've already drilled from that center mark I made off the template. Next, I need to create what I call a baseline. This baseline helps me create what is really a crosshairs right down the center of that hole. That's going to help me sight my angles when it comes time to do my reaming. I start out by putting the reamer into the hole and then lining up the, the straight part of the shaft of my reamer with the correct angle. This just helps get me started in the right, right direction. You'll notice I only take a few turns before I check it. It's real easy to get out of whack early in this when there's very little material being removed. It's a good time to make any corrections. So I'll make a couple more turns and you'll notice I'll check again. And Try and correct for it a little bit. And then you'll notice I clean out the shavings quite often. This type of reamer likes to get clogged up a bit. That's one little drawback, but it's no big deal. It keeps you, keeps you focused on only taking a few turns. And it's starting to look much better now. And I'll just keep taking a few turns here. And now it's time to check with the square against the sight line. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I line that up. I put the square right on the line and I walk across until that square is perfectly in line and then I just look down and see where the center of my reamer is. Here you can see it's off to the left of the line. That tells me I need to ream a little bit more to the right as I'm doing this. And I check it again and it looks like I'm making the correction. I gotta clean out my shavings again. Be careful, that's a sharp blade. And a few more turns and as soon as you can, it's a good idea to start using the leg in there as well to start checking how things are going with it. Now, this is starting to look pretty good, and soon I'll be able to put the leg in. It's very important that you watch how far in you're reaming. I only want to ream until the line that I've scored at the end of that tenon just touches the bottom of the seat. And you'll see, it might be kind of difficult to see, but it's there, right there, right as it's touching, and that's as far as I want to go. And here from the side with that bevel pushed up against the baseline, you can see it's a pretty good angle. What you're seeing here is the seat on the bench top, and that shows sort of the strange angles that these legs come up. Very unusual for a chair. But what they do, because of that shorter front leg, is they allow the seat to sit at an angle of about 10 degrees in relation to the uh, horizontal plane there. And I'm just going to double check that. I've set a, a bevel square to 10 degrees, and I'm just going to match it using my enormous square here to the bottom and see that it's a really nice fit. That's the angle that we want this. I know it's strange for a chair, but pitching forward is what this perch is all about. Now those legs are also pretty evenly matched now. You'll see the point of it. Here on a flat piece, you can see how my back has to curve to keep me balanced. But on the perch, you very naturally retain the lumbar curve, and it's much easier to sit upright.